Hi everyone, this is Carson from Merit Sun. Many customers are curious about how such a large energy storage system can dissipate heat in daily operation. Today I will discuss two cooling technologies commonly found in commercial energy storage systems, air cooling and liquid cooling. Firstly, I will introduce the principle of air cooling heat dissipation. Behind me are air cooling C and I energy storage cabinets from Meritsen. Air cooling systems use air as the cooling medium to exchange heat through convection to reduce the temperature of the battery system. Air cooling technology usually includes air conditioning control, battery module fan control, and air exchange channels. The air conditioning control determines cooling and heating by judging the internal temperature of the container, while the battery module fan control can adjust the temperature of a single battery and finally exchange heat through a reasonable air duct design. The advantages of air cooling system are simple structure, easy maintenance, wide application range, mature technology and high cost performance. However, there are certain requirements for the use of environment and small energy storage and outdoor scenes are more applied. At the same time, our products also design a sophisticated multi-layer protective net outside the air cooling system. Under the condition that the air circulation inside and outside the cabinet is guaranteed, the design of the protective net can prevent the entry of some small animals, insects, or dust, and improve the safety of the equipment. Now behind me are Marison's liquid cooling commercial and industrial energy storage cabinets. Then I will popularize the principle of liquid cooling. Liquid cooling uses liquid as the cooling medium to take away the heat generated by the battery through convective heat exchange. The structure of the liquid cooling system is one or more curved water pipes buried in the wall of the housing. When in use, the inlet and outlet of the pipeline are connected to the external circulating water supply system. The cold water flowing through the pipe absorbs heat and then heats up and the hot water returns to the circulating water supply system from the pipe outlet. The advantages of the liquid cooling system are good heat dissipation, high stability, low noise, and can provide better thermal runaway protection for the battery. However, it is relatively more complex to design, and it needs to consider the layout of the liquid cooling system, the selection of pumps and the maintenance of the overall system, and the cost is relatively high. Liquid cooling system is usually suitable for large-scale, high-energy density industrial and commercial energy storage system, such as Millison's high-pressure and large-capacity industrial and commercial energy storage cabinet. Liquid cooling system is particularly prominent in its advantages. When choosing a cooling system, we need to consider various factors according to the actual power of the equipment, heat dissipation requirements, use environment, cost, budget, and so on. In fact, considering the entire system, designing an air cooling system would be simpler and more cost effective. However, to achieve better performance and ensure the safety of the cabinets in the energy storage system, Meritson opts for a more sophisticated modular design with a liquid cooling system. All components are pre-assembled and tested in the factory, eliminating the need for on-site installation and debugging. This creates an efficient, stable installation process reducing costs and project timelines, ensuring system quality and performance, optimizing energy dissipation efficiency, enhancing overall operational efficiency and reliability. That's all the contents of the battery energy storage solution cooling system technology today. I hope it will be helpful to you. If you have any other questions, please contact us and we will customize your energy storage solution according to your needs. Bye.